So EG choosing here to pair Sona up with uh, Draven and also selecting the Zed. First one of the day. Yeah, first one of the day. And again, Zed, we talked about in the previous matchup, it was Alex that used him very, very well, um, you know, tearing people's faces apart. The damage is great. Single target focus, great mobility. He's going to be able to use that uh, living shadow of his to get over walls, etc. And we've seen Elise being locked in. So there's no carry unless Needle is going to be the carry here for Dragonborns because this has just blown everything wide open. With Elise and Soraka being locked in, that makes me assume that Needle is going to be the AD carry with Soraka in the bottom lane and Jarvan in the jungle? Bananas. I mean... Counterpicks that we actually kind of saw here. We haven't really seen many counterpicks, it seems, in the last season. People have kind of defaulted back to just picking their compositions and for themselves. There's a lot of counterpicking going down in this All-Star game. And I think the official word, Jack, for picking up that Alistair at the end there when there's a Blitzcrank is a cow to pick. Uh, because, of course, he is a cow. i get that one out of the way Got before it. we get into the game, I think. Well done. Um, is now done, and a second nearly see Large Rod coming in, which it is going to be so, so very hard to control now. See them going in towards his top lane. They're going to go towards Deadly Brother, who's... He's dead, brother. And now the tower is going to be taken down so very easily. Sir T is going to tank that one up, but he's not going to really uh, have much of a problem with that. Venom actually coming in there. Do you have a, you have a question, Joe? Because I've been, I've been looking at the uh, handsome quick Give shot. Give him one thing to do. <laughs> you have one job, Jason. Um, so let's have a look, then. Actually, no, here's um, a question. They're coming, in, they're coming in very, very quickly. I got do you question. think uh, Soraka is ever... Be quiet. <laughs> do you think Soraka is ever coming... Because this is a Soraka question. Do you think Soraka is ever going to be coming back into the competitive scene, or does she need some tweaking? What's so, your opinions? My opinion is you should build her with the hurricane, because then she fires three bananas at once. <laughs> That's how you make Soraka viable. What's, what's a pack of bananas called? A bundle? Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, talking about that, we've seen Soraka a couple of times, and again, it's 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 more of those picks where she you need to sustain. Yeah, it's it's very. So as and Peke, this is always a problem. But the fact that they've got that mid lane air combo as well of cyanide matching with push uh, Pushu, <laughs> I, I nearly <laughs> nearly went in a wrong direction there with his name. But nevertheless, they are going to push on towards the middle. Can they get away? Not amused. Not amused. He's been pulled a lot. Zero seven zero currently. Almost James Bond. He's not having his best day. But then again, then again, he has two games where he didn't die. He's had, exactly, and that more than makes up for yeah, this one. Exactly. That more than makes up for this one, where he's just had a lot of misfortune. I'm gonna say. Uh, <laughs> God, that was that wasn't freak. What are you doing to no, 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 that wasn't actually that wasn't planned. Uh, God bro again. We talked about his comfort zones, and you know he had a great cinch in that last match. Coming into this one, having that Shen, and to be honest, Jason, up until now his ultimates have been on point. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty sensational. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm actually clapping. That was, that was pretty good. You did the. He's played a lot, but better. And then now the, the sen <laughs> sensational. Very good job, Joe. You are spot with your puns. Way better than anything Freak has done this week. Um, but we do have Gambit going over for Dragon at this point. Shots fired again from Jason I have here. Don't put Angle Wolves coming in to stop this Dragon being done. What it does mean, though, is Gambit need to be quite on the ball because if Fnatic are a bit more laid back, a bit more relaxed, they may not make as many mistakes. It's going to sound really strange, but if you're not trying so hard, it has been locked in and it looks like Peg is going to take Neely. Bananas. <laughs> it, it is Edward though, so let's not get excited. <laughs> let's not get excited because we'll see if that is locked in. Because Lissandra would teleport in and he just got destroyed and he was on an immobile champion in Kogma for himself. And also one other thing we have to mention about the Fnatic who's losing their ban. No, that's not what we should be cheering for. Fnatic will be penalized for trading champions after the 22nd deadline in their last game against Vulcan. So Fnatic losing the one ban. Well, coming into this match, Ozone isn't making any excuses for their game one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes! the, the crowd is not satisfied, but Joe is. Soraka, where's he going to go, though? In the mid lane. The AD Soraka. Those are going to be some hard hitting bananas. Yeah. <laughs> that, jo that joke's been done. 
congratulations and good luck in the final. Gratulacje. Oh, and one last thing, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I want to, Moscow 5 want to congratulate Joe Miller with his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Joe Miller. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Joe. We'll be seeing Joe shortly in the booth. That was awesome. The flash pulverized. Test flashes away, but he exits. 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 Just stopping Vladimir from pushing up in these lanes, and again, they're coming in from the side. We can see another huge fight right here. Odd one going in there, ulti down, here comes Reginald, there's the Ezreal ultimate as well. Slay having to pull out, Reginald's gonna go low, gets pulled out there by Lustpoint. Still nobody dying in this fight, they are all still alive with hardly any help. Lustpoint goes low, there's Leona, Lustpoint's still alive, finished off by Chaos. Captain Jack getting away to the side, another sick fight, Jack. And look at that four flashing reds on the side of Azubu, everybody taken below.